go, you guys. The skills that the kids demonstrated were uh, surprised us. Your robot starts off inside this area. You know, more advanced than we've seen in the past for this particular age group. So we're very, very impressed. This is my partner, Max, and this is one of the robots that we used actually for during the week. It's a combination of robotics and computers, two of the, which, are some of, which are some of the things that interest me, as well as I like cats. cats. When you look at a child, you know, they, when we start off trying to explore our world, we actually are doing a lot of engineering activities. How? Why didn't it stop? No battery. Could you tell them that it's actually okay. impairing our progress? I've always thought of myself as a chef more than an engineer, but I think that I'll use some of the things I've learned in this class when I become a chef. As many as two-thirds of the students who are, are identified as gifted and talented uh, do not receive any special services to challenge the areas in which they're gifted. Getting our robot out of that black tape with SpongeBob and his friends. We can provide opportunities for students to go as far as they want to. Run it out, run it out! I've always been interested in machines and building, building like I know that when I was when I was like like when I was a toddler I would always stand outside looking at construction vehicles. Yeah, yeah, nice dog, buddy. Dogs interest me. Like future technology does too. How about girls? Are you into that girls yet? I they do interest me a little bit, I have to say. One of my friends got me into it, so I'm gonna go put some weapons on this thing. Like, 